the peace of Reiki, practices for co-creating new earth, by Anya Light. Chapter 1. The First Precept, Building Trust. What holds this universe together? What's the special glue? Some think it's Christ. Some think it's Krishna. Others think the Buddha makes the world go round. The beautiful thing about the path of Reiki is that we get to choose we are free to gravitate to the story that most resonates. We are free to revere a deity, or not. We are free to study holy scriptures, or not. We are free to trust what our soul tells us is the truth. Indeed, the system of Reiki is compatible with all religions, all worldviews, all cultures, and all walks of life. Nobody is excluded. You can be a dedicated Reiki practitioner and also be very logical and scientific. You can practice Reiki daily and also be a Christian. You can worship as a Muslim or a Hindu. You can be an atheist. You can be whatever you are. All are welcome. Because Reiki is such a flexible path, it will be, and already is, a major catalyst for the co-creation of New Earth. The system of Reiki reminds us of the healing powers of tolerance and non-judgment. By respecting all traditions as beautiful and equally valid, human beings can finally come together peacefully as one family. We can finally come together as a worldwide sacred sangha or spiritual community, honoring all ways and paths as unique roads to divinity. Part of the Reiki journey is learning to craft, create, and listen to the story that most wants to be told through us. The journey is about hearing how we may contribute uniquely to the whole, while also respecting the unique journey of others. It's about honoring our special relationship to the divine. Indeed, the relationship we have with divinity is the most sacred relationship of our life. It's the glue. It shapes and colors everything we touch. It gets us out of bed in the morning and brings us courage in times of terror consolation in times of grief. Indeed, the story we tell ourselves about how the universe works is the way that we can drop into peace when nothing else works. We can strengthen our story relationship by diligently practicing the first Reiki precept. Just for today, do not worry. In translations from Japanese into English, this precept is often listed as second. However, I have always intuitively felt that this precept needs to be listed first, for it is truly the most vital, the most crucial for our daily well-being. By healing our tendency to worry, we settle into a life of peace. By making our minds calm and free from worry, we can truly embody compassion. With the help of this precept, we become like angels, rising above the ancient animalistic patterns of fear and conflict. With less and less worry, we live a dharmic existence, one that is aligned with the true nature of the universe. So, how do we actually live this first precept? How do we stop worry? When confusions or challenges happen in our lives, how do we find peace? Whether we revere Allah or Yahweh, whether we bow in prayer to Lakshmi or Kuan Yin, whether we find comfort within the scientific method or the natural patterns found in Taoism, it is possible to progressively build our trust in divinity. 
we can come to trust, no matter what, that divinity will shelter us. In truth, every perceived setback, trial, and moment of loss is not a mistake. Rather, every single one of these challenging moments is an opportunity to cultivate a deeper relationship with the divine. Every challenge gives us a gift. We can root like a tree, standing tall in full faith and trust, no matter the winds of change. Practice Invitation The next time your mind is lost in worry, please use the following mantra as a powerful antidote. I trust in you, fill in the blank, with a word or name that brings a sense of peace to your heart, such as an enlightened master, higher power, or benevolent force. For example, a few of my favorites are, I trust in you, universe. I trust in you, Krishna. I trust in you, God. Repeat this mantra continually during times of worry. It's a simple, practical, powerful way to practice the first Reiki precept. It's also wonderful to incorporate this mantra into your Reiki self-healing sessions. With one hand on your root chakra, located around the genital area, and another hand resting upon your sacral chakra, which is about an inch or two below your belly button, Whisper this mantra as you recline on a bed or couch. Snuggle under some cozy blankets and have a cup of warm tea nearby. Allow yourself to feel protected and cocooned. Allow all worries to dissolve.